Hi, my name is Coach Jimmy, and you probably have goals in your life. I mean, who doesn't have goals or wishes or things that you want to obtain? Maybe it's losing weight. Maybe it's starting a new career. Maybe it's finding the love of your life. I don't know what it is, but there, there's some big passionate goal in your gut. Maybe it's starting a nonprofit, doing something for charity. And right now, whatever it is that that dream you have, that aspiration that you have, it seems so big. It seems, or maybe you're like myself, you're a business owner, you're an entrepreneur, and you have three or four or five different projects that are in your brain that you want to execute, but you feel a little overwhelmed because you're not exactly sure where to start. That's where I was. Well, that's where I was before getting started in business because before I got started in business and becoming an entrepreneur, I found myself about nine years ago now as a three-time college dropout that was 100 pounds overweight living back at home with my parents. So as you can imagine, a lot of my dreams and aspirations had gone down the toilet and I had gone from a dreamer with big goals to just surviving, just getting by day to day. And since that time, obviously I've lost 100 pounds, kept it off for almost 10 years, created a seven-figure online business. I've been featured in workout DVDs like Insanity with Sean T and Pio with Shalene Johnson. And as a business owner now, I still can fall into that trap of, wow, I have these big goals. I've achieved some things, but there's other things I want to do. Or I have too many, too many ideas and I don't know where to start first. Well, this week I, I found myself getting into that. Me and my team, I have a thing, I don't know if you ever feel this way, a bit like a squirrel, the, the shiny object syndrome, where you're excited about something and you're excited to get something started, but once it kind of gets rolling, you get bored and you move to something else. So you never, you never follow through and see that first thing to the end. While it was a great idea, your attention has been diverted to something else. That's been me for the past year. When I have about six or seven things that, that I'm working on right now, uh, an event that's coming up that I'm doing, a, uh, a leadership retreat that I'm doing for my team, a product that I want to produce, um, I'm redoing uh, my mentorship group and how I work with my clients and then also want to create a community for people that want to improve their health and fitness. So as you can see, I'm like, okay, well, which direction do I go first? And this year I've been working with a gentleman by the name of James Wedmore. If you don't know James Wedmore, look him up on YouTube. Uh, he's kind of the king of YouTube. That's how I found him as he teaches people how to build their businesses using video. But since I'm getting to know James, he goes way beyond just the video guy. He really is one of the most brilliant people I know as far as putting together systems and being efficient with your time. So my team and I got on a Zoom call with James the other day and he really shared something with me that I had learned before but was reminded of. And the first thing that I learned also from Shalene Johnson, uh, who I've worked with for a few years, is that any big goal can be achieved if you take the time to reverse engineer it. If you take this big overwhelming idea and break it into pieces and then figure out, you know, so you do something like a brain dump, right? In order to achieve this goal, here are all the things that need to be done. And you just, you take out a piece of paper and you just brain dump everything. And then you start moving those pieces around. Well, this can't be done till this is, and this can't be done till this is. Well, this is exact kind of the same thing James did with me. In fact, he shared with me a book called Scrum, Scrum, and it's, it's talking about how to get twice as much done in half the time. And it's a lot about systems and teams. And he showed a graph with me about people that try to multitask. And he was like, okay, it's already been proven that, you know, talking to a client on the phone and emailing at the same time, not a good way to multitask. I mean, even if you're trying to study and learn something while surfing in your Facebook newsfeed, you're probably not going to take as much in. But what he meant by this type of multitasking was working on multiple projects at once. So he showed me this graph, and in the first column of the graph, it showed if you're working on one project, that one project gets 100% of your effort and your very best work, right? So if one project with one focus got 100, what did that jump to when you, when you added two projects? And my wife, who was on the call, said, well, then it's going to be 50-50. And he's like, you'd think that. But the studies they've done have shown that actually you give 40 and 40% to each project, and there's this 20% of like wasted time. And what he meant by wasted time was either physically the time from shifting from one project to the other, getting out of this creative space and moving to that creative space, getting back in that flow, kind of revving back up. And it's like 
It's like shifting gears too quick. You've kind of ripped your transmission. And then he went on to show the rest of the graph. And every time you added a project, three, four, five, to the point where at five, like the productivity level was at 20% and the majority of the graph was red, was the wasted time, was the restart time. And we listed all the things I needed to get done and all the projects I wanted to work on and there were seven. And I was, just, I was really kind of defeated. I was like, no wonder we're not getting anywhere. So we sat there and took the time to say, okay, let's list. So we listed everything we needed to get done. Then we started seeing what clumped together. What two things actually were, were really one project. Okay, this and this kind of worked together. This and this kind of worked together. And I think we got it down to five. So then when we had it to five, then it was, what do we, what, what one project affects the rest of them? So for me, it was, sh it was setting up systems for how my team, my, not, my, not my coaching clients, but my personal team, my, my two assistants, my web guy, my videographer, and my wife and I, how we communicate and build things. So I was like, well, we can't do the rest of these as efficiently unless we build the systems first. So all of a sudden we started identifying what needed to be done first. So what am I doing today? After I get done with this video today, we're sitting down and just giving 100% of our attention to that number one thing. That the goal is to have that up and running in the next 48 hours. That nothing else gets done until this is up. And that's really what you've got to do sometimes is slow down some other things to go destroy one thing, right? So, because if I'm still trying to do all of them at once, none of them are going to be done that well. And none of them are going to be, it's not going to be my best work or my team's best work. But if we would, if we blinder it and go, okay, these things may suffer for a couple days, but that's okay. They're not going to go anywhere. It's not going to get destroyed. The business isn't going anywhere. I got to get this done. And you can apply that to so many areas of your life. If you're talking health and fitness, maybe it's just, okay, I got to focus on, you know, what's good is it if I'm going to go do a bunch of workouts if my eating is shit, right? So the first thing I got to do is focus in on what's my meal plan? What are the meals every day? Have I gone grocery shopping? Do I have my meal prep? Do I know when that's going to be done? Like creating that system first. Cool. Once you have that, then you can move on to the workout thing, making sure that you have an accountability partner, right? That can be achieved like that in health and fitness. I just gave you a business example. Um, if you're trying to create something new, right? Maybe you're trying to create that online course or you're writing that book or whatever. The same thing. It works the same way is using this chunking system and then really focusing on just one task. You know, uh, Shalene Johnson has a great program, uh, her 30 day push, and she has a book called Push. That's very similar. She has a push goal. What's the one goal that affects that all the other goals or, or things that you, to do things that you need to get done. And then she says, what three things every day can you do to move that one forward? That that's your priority because that one is going to domino the rest of them, right? So hopefully you found this helpful. You know how you're going to let me know if you found this helpful? Number one, you're going to like this video. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> you're going to like this video. <laughs> Got choked up. So, so happy about this. Then I want you to leave in the comment, what is that big goal? What's the one thing you need to accomplish in order for the other things to fall in line? So like the video, tell me in the comments what it is. What's that one thing that you just need to put blinders on in the next 24 to 72 hours, knock it out. I'm so excited to hear about your goals so I can cheer you on as well. My name is Coach Jimmy. Until next time, keep moving forward.